Oh, also, hello, Romper. I hadn't realised you were in here. I thought it was still only Robbie. Although it's showing as no one watching, so I mean, that's possible as well. But yes, I also agree. I think that the uh, Siege of Tear not having some part in the campaign is a massive um, missed opportunity. But, I mean, they clearly weren't ready to do an urban environment, so... Eh. Also, sorry about that massive faff at the beginning of that previous mission. Uh, my chat box decided that it should suddenly be entirely opaque, so the entire top corner of my screen was completely unreadable. And as you can imagine, it was pissing me off. Our initial satellite data identified the location of the primary anomaly, along with dozens of secondary targets. We will take a northern route, skirting the Baladin Formation. Doing this, we will avoid Gaussian territory and the worst of the deep desert heat. We will then cut south to the primary anomaly, the main goal of our expedition. See, this whole scenario is a bit weird to me. Like, we launched the satellite so we could look at space when we haven't been able to explore the vast majority of our planet. Like, the carrier Sakala has confirmed they are moving east with significant force. To meet us at the east of Cape Wrath, a place known as Hell's Gate. Okay, so my understanding of the important points of this mission are that I leave my carrier down the bottom because that will draw all of the... It, it basically messes with the uh, unit behavior. Also, I'm don't really playing a bit of a noob because I should already run up to here. Go here. These guys go here. This goes here and basically lives there. Uh, it doesn't matter what she does. Uh, let's have some range then. Uh, oh no, it's probably it's best to just have one in each. Yeah, if you could not. Also, it sounds like once upon a time, height was also supposed to give you a defensive advantage. Based on that chatter, anyway. So yeah, we're going to live here. Oh right, that already initiated. So let's go teleport Rachel up there. So right, these guys should probably be up here. Right, let's set you guys up. Oh, can they not go further up? Is that the issue here? Do that for now. Uh, I don't need that yet. Probably going to need that. Destination Rachel. Your aboard the suggest carrier is reading the bow. 
So yeah, because these units are on like 200 speed at the moment. Like, yeah, 250. 250 speed. Um, the reason for that is because they've got a speed boost until they get within a certain range of the Capici. So we abuse that. Oh, could you not? I don't know, why would I focus on shooting at skimmers when there's a heavy rail right there? And it'll probably come back later in the mission. Wait, you can get... Can't you get rail guns in this mission? Isn't there a set of dead, like, inoperable rail guns over here? Why would you not get those? That just seems... Inefficient. Alright. You guys are there. So, like, you've already gathered everything there is to gather there. Oh. Shit. Regrets. Could have. Or is it they don't appear until after the carrier does, therefore you can't get them? Appears that is the case. Eh. Yeah, because they're moving so fast, they can't actually just work correctly. Pretty funny. Um. They actually hit. No. Okay. Well, I'm pretty pissed. Do they had? Let me return to the PC for what? Oh, right. Her. Oops. Gabriel's not talking to me. <laughs> do all this command stuff, and he doesn't listen to me at all. High ground bonus in this is sick. So in single player, essentially uh, everything has lower accuracy is is a big part of why they suck. Like you get loads of moments where you're like, I should be doing loads of damage. What's going on? It's because accuracy ratings really low. Now, I think he said something like, once this gets to 80%, or is that the scanner beacons? It might just be the scanner beacons. Because the idea is for this to go running over to here? Where is it? There's a position here, which is where the, the carrier spawns and kill it before. Before it can have an opinion. Because we don't like Galcian having opinions. Very stupid. Ooh, yeah, sick. Oh well. Come on. Yeah, having high ground is just super valuable. Right, pretty sure now is when I want to be heading over there. Oh, you would be. In fact, come on. Why are you going to be so rude? Do that, just in case we're also going to do that, because I don't care. I'm a callous git. Actually, one second. They're not going to get there in time anyway, so... Let's all go this way, which makes more sense. Yes, I have got the timing right on this. Sweet. I'm pretty sure it's around there. Yeah. You ready to get styled on?
These guys die. This should spawn. Oh, come on, Rachel. It's There we go. Getting concerned from here. Right. We've done that. I mean, that's pretty normal, man. You get a lot of people who... Like, especially if they only played the game, like, ten years ago or something, you know? Like, it's a long time between, you know, when... You know, your information now, your your expectations of yourself now. A. Hey, Galsian Cruiser. I couldn't know you were there. But I did. But yeah, it would only be after this that you could actually get the rail guns, which are over here, but... GG. Mission's over. I wonder if you can, like, cheese it, maybe. Like, if I'm over here. Uh, do I need that? I don't think I need that. But I'm wondering whether it would be possible. If you've already moved your support cruiser and uh, Rachel over to the right locations, they would actually repair the railguns during this sequence. And that would then allow you to have them in the next mission. It's definitely possible. I, I think that's definitely abusable. Yeah, going back to Home World 3, um, like, Personal log, science office. you get a lot of people who are Expedition. passionate about game series because of what is actually a very limited experience with it. So they remember very, like, limited experiences. Um, it's like for me when I played Home World 2, um, my experiences online were uh, EMP cheese, battle cruiser spam, um, and uh, people hiding in like the very top or bottom of the map when they lost and were like cheesy, um, you know. So like I, my experience of that game multiplayer was the kind of the shipwreck was a coalition carrier. The faults of it, yeah. The wreck has been ransacked by like I loved the concept of it, but like I didn't feel like it translated to a good multiplayer experience. No sign of bias there, Rachel. You know, I'm sure you didn't go into all the ship's computers specifically looking for your brother's like data files. No bias. Uh, evidence that bad coalition pilots or carrier drivers is canon. Confirmed. Guy drove into a mountain and got stuck. We've seen this in multiplayer where they like go like drive up the mountain, but they don't get stuck. Um, but that's because of multiplayer cheats. The clash coordinates correspond to this so. location from the satellite data of four years ago. Typically, you know, in canon, like they just kind of ram into the mountain, it would kind of collapse on top of the carrier, and they're done. And locked uh, in. Yeah. What's the next one? Oh, clash site, yeah. No, don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basin. No, it can't be. No, it's after. Yeah, this is clash site. I was thinking when I was watching the uh, guide for this that I need. I, I should try and find a way of picking up the artifacts. But in the following mission, you've got the extra power. So clearly, it's a case that all all, all artifacts are automatically collect collected at the end of the mission. So. There's no value to doing that. Shocker. Drive forwards. Drive forwards. Drive forwards. Um, like, how you wouldn't be able to see that ship already is beyond me. I mean, you know, like... I could understand if it looked like a rocky outcrop from here, but for it to just be invisible was kind of like, eh. 
Rachel, it turns out you're blind. That's a no sandstorm, so I suppose there's that to it. You just can't see anything through the sandstorm. But I, I still don't buy it. It's massive. It is hench. Look at it. What class of ship is that meant to be? Like, the style of it indicates frigate. But it's way too big for that. Way too big. It's more like a destroyer sized ship. Look at all these precious artifacts in it. Look. Ah, oh, man. And they're intact. How should we collect these things? Throw demolition charges at it. It was, in fact, complete before they did their salvage operation. It was like one massive ship, and it was all intact and working. But they didn't know what button to press to turn it on, so just... Alright, uh, what's the rule? The rule is, get this stuff first. Why are you all the way back here, you lazy bum? Uh, oh, crap. Yeah. Do that, because it starts things moving forwards, which is important. These need to be down here, so that they can say howdy do to our Galsian friends. What was it best to do with you? I think you're best going over here. You should get over there now, too. You go over here. I think I need two extra salvages, which I'm going to immediately send over to this pile. So you're there, hold ground. Is there any high ground I can use here? I mean, there is, so maybe? Maybe move there, and then gun them down, because they should immediately aggro me, right? I am concerned about the big whirlwindy bullshite, though. Search for wreckage there. The storm is producing tornadoes on low lying areas. Avoid the tornado. The sand and debris they spin up chews through light armor. And so the idea here is for additional wreckage in the valley ahead. It could be difficult. Do that. If we upgrade our fabrication to space runner. Her repair speed? Possibly. It seems pretty OP to me. Right, so you're going to go over here and you're going to be all like, hey, I'm putting this here. You guys are going to go over here. No, I'm not wasting. Yeah. Why did you not go and harvest? Oh, of course, because it only selects one salvager at a time. There. Why did you not start this? Uh, isn't there meant to be a wreck here? Oh, don't tell me I've got to spawn a probe to go and find them. You get the thing I do. Yes, I do. Sucks to be me. That goes there. Why it's invisible before that? Wait. Oh, they one shots in this. They fucking oh no! <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh, can Rachel spawn one? No, she can't. <laughs> Damn it, Rachel! What? 
Right, I've clearly missed something here because. <laughs> oh wait, is this other one over here? Is that why? Is it a case that I've gotten here so soon? I get the thing if I drive away, it may actually cause. the wreck to spawn. Look at them. Assault ships being stylish as fuck. Unfortunately, they kind of suck. They are absolutely appallingly shite. And I think the production crews were spawned there. Isn't that lovely? There it is, okay. Now, I must be looking in the wrong place. Like, it's gotta be... not... There it is. Okay, okay. I'm just having a moment. You guys just chill there. I'm gonna continue being kind of shite. Do you know what a bad time looks like? Because this is what a bad time looks like. Because I've got no defense over here. I'm about to drive into that tornado. That would be super bad. Did she deploy her scanner? Yes, she did. Turret post went down. That is tragic. Get high ground, get high ground, get high ground, get high ground. There we go. Yeah! Now we kill all the things. High ground, so good. So good. Yeah. Feels like balance. Um, now, I believe the idea is. I have these guys basically just roam around beating the snot out of things. Uh, probably going to need that. Probably going to need other things off this list if I'm just playing badly, but... New problems. Oh, crap. Get some high ground. Yeah. Be really nice if you targeted the nasty thing. There we go, right. Are you kidding me? It's over here? Probably gonna need that. So this is basically completely safe. Cue this. Uh, Probably do want more turrets over here to just kind of support. Probably not terrible at this. Um, ah man, this is super bad. Um, a couple of those. So I'm actually going to need to figure out how to like win over here, and I think rails. The way. Let's improve that. Oh, wait, no. Let's get Sunder. Holy moly, could you calm down, please? Uh, how expensive are these? They are relatively pricey, if you ask me. No, we're gonna we're gonna fix our problem that way, please. Wait, what? Sweet, they're all harvesting, that's good. Uh, I'm, oh god, no, I'm not fine with this. I am very not fine with this. Gimme, 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 gimme. Like, having some actual high ground to work with would have been great. I agree. Oh my god, this is... Bleh. 
everything's over here. I'm such a lucky boy, really. I'm not saying this is going badly, I'm saying it's going really badly. Lost scanner. Fucking kidding me. Wait, was I finished with the scan? <gasps> I was, so that's fine. I don't care. Right, sweet. I don't actually need to defend any of this shit. So, the idea should be that we all go over here and wreck shit. Uh, PC will be fine. That's fine. Armor, go ahead. Move order confirmed. Op ready. Course set. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Now, where do we think the other one has spawned becomes the question. Oh, could you not? Like, really? Could you just not? So feckin' rude. Right, where is... So I think the sense ping was over here. And as soon as I... As, for, as soon as I finish having fun with these dickheads... Uh, let's get the hangar upgrade. Let's uh, also... I, I just love how everything spawned as far from where it was like, oh, could you just fucking not, please, 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 where, where is this, because there is a second, like, are they both up in this corner, is that what you're telling me, is that what you are telling me, it is, isn't it, you piece of shit, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is in Cruiser? Oh, by the way, this this entire mission is now completely up the wazoo. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, man, that's super bad. No, you're not. We're going into the next mission, and we're completely fucked. Like, I should really redo that mission? That's how badly that went. Expedition carrier Kafisi. The sandstorms are taking a toll on the old girl, but she's a hell of a ship. We're managing well, considering the haste with which we launched. The lead science officer, Rachel, is analyzing the artifact we found. Uh, eager to take see, so I don't have my eight rail guns, which I was supposed to have at the end of the mission. I don't have any salvages in permission, uh, in position to start like blowing up the wrecks. Shit. 